August 25th is an unforgettable day for Rohingya people. The Rohingya people had to lost their properties which they earned and collected with their hard work and efforts. They are about 50 years behind for their loss. Actually, what happened at that time? Their houses were burned by Myanmar military defense and other local non-Muslims. And over 1 million people were killed in the whole Arakan state. As the government didn't stop killing Rohingya, they had to leave their houses and fled toward Bangladesh. They saved their lives from the cruel armies and immigrated with few foods. They traveled for a long time without any shelters. Some of them lost their parents and some others lost their children. Each person was in search of his family member. As their rations were ran out on the way of their destination, they survived their lives eating tree leaves and grass. Few of them could afford to bring rations along with them. Finally, they reached Bangladesh by crossing border. And the government of Bangladesh let them to survive in there. At last, they all became refugees. Now, they live their lives freely without any restrictions and laws. The place where Rohingya refugees survive has been recognized as the world's largest refugee camp with over 1 million people. They are offered many nutritious food and medicines. Almost everyone got jobs with their own talent and qualifications. The Rohingya children are given a new way of life to live healthy. They are offered proper education and different opportunities to improve their lives and their community. Thousands of Rohingya people are still raising their hands for their rights and justice. They are standing on the intense heat to show the world that they need justice.